Today, we celebrate the mystery of American renewal. We must do what America does best, offer more opportunity to all, and demand more responsibility from all. Change was in the air, and nearly a million people thronged to the excitement of the inauguration. There is nothing wrong with America that cannot be cured by what is right with America. The Family and Medical Leave Act, twice vetoed by the previous administration, was the first bill the president signed. But President Clinton understood that in order for government to be a force for good in people's lives, it must be based on sound economics. The plan I offer you shifts our emphasis in public and private spending from consumption to investment. Initially, by jump-starting the economy in the short term and investing in our people, their jobs, and their incomes over the long run. When the president introduced his economic plan, Republicans called it a job killer. Not a single Republican in the House or Senate voted for it. The yeas are 50, the nays are 50, the Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes yes. In the Senate, Vice President Gore broke the tie, and the Clinton plan went on to create the longest economic expansion in American history. In foreign policy, President Clinton built strong relationships with world leaders. He sought common ground and gained their trust and confidence. In the Middle East, the administration seized a rare opportunity to encourage peace. We say to you today, in a loud and a clear voice, enough of blood and tears. Enough! The children of Abraham, the descendants of Isaac and Ishmael, have embarked together on a bold journey. Together, today, with all our hearts and all our souls, we bid them shalom, salam, peace. Candidate Clinton had promised a different kind of Democrat, one who would strengthen community by linking opportunity with responsibility. At home and abroad, President Clinton began to deliver.